Women of CTV with Aaron Racine following a 5-1 win over Hamilton and Waterlooville. Aaron, what were your thoughts on the game? Uh, not so good first half, but a second half. I think that is quite obvious. Um, I think we struggled a little bit in terms of the conditions. It was quite windy, it was hard to play out, um, so it's always hard to do that. Um, but I think we did, we definitely felt like we didn't turn from the first half, but second half, 100% great reaction from everyone in terms of the boys on the pitch and the subs itself. Um, they changed the game. What do you think clicked in that second half? Because yeah, the first half didn't seem to quite get going. They peppered us with a lot of chances. They probably felt a little bit hard done by not to go in ahead. But that second half completely transformed. Yeah, I think, I don't know, the message at half time was I think we weren't defending well as a team and or individually. And on top of that, I think that has a knock on effect. When you're not doing that side well, I think it can knock your confidence when you try and play possession, uh, play with the ball. So the second half was that, that sort of message, just like if we can defend well and or if we can get the ball and be better, I think it has a knock on effect with, with the other side. So I think, yeah, just trying to give them that confidence to try and do that and, you know, explain maybe some things we can do better at half time. And, and credit to them, they implemented it all very well. It paid off very quickly. Tommy Willard comes on, uh, substitute at half time and straight away on the score sheet. Made a massive impact today coming back from injury as well. What do you think of his performance? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, I've, I've seen him play a couple of times. I didn't know much about him. Uh, but when I did see him play, I thought he was a, he was a really good player there. Um, so, yeah, like I said, he, he come on and obviously Chops come on and didn't come on. I think all, all three of them come on, they made a big impact. Um, obviously, two subs, two of the three subs scored, scored two goals. Um, so overall, I think, yeah, those three players did uh, done really well. We were missing to mention, actually, with uh, Finch Adwick getting a first league goal for him. I mean, doesn't need to boost his confidence anymore, that lad. But no, yeah, he's just... Hard. Obviously, he's, he's, he's still a young, a young player, but um, he's got so much potential in terms of what he can do. And I think his, his, um, he'll, he'll play for this club eventually full time in terms of like regularly. Uh, he's at the age where he's obviously still developing, still learning his trade. Um, and the two games he's come on sub, he's done unbelievably well. And uh, he, he'll be unlucky, and he's, he, he'll feel hard done by that he hasn't started any games recently. But you know, that's just that's just football, and it's, it's a learning curve for both both him and young players. But. Yeah, hopefully that, that sort of gives him confidence and he, he, can go, he kicks on uh, next, next game. You're speaking of different places in the team, Cody as well starting at centre off today. What do you make of his performance? Yeah, I thought he'd done okay. I thought he'd done okay. I thought he showed what quality he has in some glimpses. Um, there's just things we need to sort of drill into in terms of our style of play and our, our identity. But I think that shouldn't be too much an issue in terms of from what we saw today. Switch our attention to next Monday, Hamilton Richmond, a massive game for us in the playoff race. How are you feeling going into it? It's a massive boost for the team to get back to winning ways today. Yeah, I think obviously the result today helped. And that, that was, it's really important because I think in the last few games we have been unlucky and haven't got the results. Whereas maybe today we had a bit of luck on our side because we were poor first half, maybe we should have went in 2 1 down. But we had that luck where we didn't. And then obviously, like we said, we come out second half and the credit to the boys, they've, um, they deserved that result. So. Yeah, I think that result was a, is a, is a big one going into uh, Hampton on Monday. Hate to end on a sour note, but looking at the injury situation, we said yesterday fresh squad, but we came in today with Jack Wadham and Joel Holbrand missing, and Nicky Wheeler picking up on that today as well. What are you thinking for those three? Yeah, it was both Jack and Joel wanted to play, and they felt they could have played, but I think I sort of took the decision out of their own hands and kind of said no, um, just, just because obviously I'm not thinking Monday's a big game, but I don't want it to be a, position, a thing where they come, they get injured, and they, they miss a game, and they come back, and they miss a game again because they just pick up these little niggles. I'd rather them be fresh, um, strong and ready and fit to go into Monday's game, and hopefully they don't pick up anything or nothing um, occurs in terms of their reoccurring injury, and they can carry on playing the rest of the games in the, in the league. Early days, but what is there any word on Nicky Wheeler's situation? Uh, it rolled roll his ankle. Um, to what extent, I don't know. I think it'll be a case of letting it settle for 24, 48 hours and then see how it, how it reacts.